name is Timothy Burns. I've been a plumbing designer for 32 years. I designed a plumbing system for a state-of-the-art office complex. During the bid process, the contractor recommended that they install PVC below the parking deck slab, and the owner approved it. When PVC is installed below the slab, you're just waiting for a problem. I always advise against PVC going below the slab because the contractor will not go by the standards in which it should be installed. He'll just treat it like it's cast iron pipe and dig a hole, put it in the trench and bury it. I wrote the owner a letter voicing my concerns about putting PVC below the finished slab. When the problems rose, the building was about 80% complete. I got a phone call from the contractor and he informed us that the parking garage had flooded and wanted to get some of our input to see if we could get a solution to the problem. It was really shocking to see what had happened. When the contractor cut holes in the slab around the drain location, we realized that the ground had settled below the parking deck and it had uh, disconnected several of the drains and crushed several of the horizontal branch mains in the drainage system. We told them over and over not to use PVC, in, in, especially in that situation. We specified cast iron for a reason. I think the, the owner and the contractor both regretted having value engineered the cast iron out of the parking garage. Think about it. They value engineered cast iron for PVC, costing them time and money. Where's the value in that?